Good morning, we're so happy that you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. We are on our nap stroll right now. Um, I just wanted to say hi and that we are so excited it's Friday. Um, last weekend was a weekend in the suburbs. This weekend is a weekend in the city. We got festivals going on, we have Cubs game today. Um, so yeah, we're feeling we're feeling Friday. We've, we've got that Friday feeling. Got a sleepy pup? Not anymore. <gasps> Open. I was gonna say everybody in this house is sleepy until this got everyone excited. But Teddy is Open. But Teddy is still snoozing. Hey, great naps today. I'll open it. Thank you for asking so nicely. Evie. Wake up, it's Friday. Are you done with work? I mean, kind of. Yeah? Like, we're about to go to the Cubs game, but I have to make sure my team's time cards get approved later today. But there are people that work until after I'm done working, so they can't finalize their time cards until later. So I have to like, sneak in later tonight and approve them all. But yeah. For now. Weekend. Yes. So we're going to go to the Cubs game. We're going to eat dinner when we get home. So let's have a snack. We got Teddy's. Oh, yeah. <gasps> what? Thank you. We got Teddy's three to six month clothes box. And it has me all nostalgic because they're they're all Jamesy's clothes. And now there's Teddy's clothes. And this is actually from, from Grandma. So Teddy's ready. He's got his baseball hat on. Now everybody else has to be ready. <laughs> We're starting off the day in Gallagher Way because it's like a fake day game. It's a three, it was a three o'clock game, so we, didn't, we missed the start because I was working still. Um, but we're going to start and burn some gas in Gallagher Way. He's playing with these bags, or cornhole, what a lot of people call it. And then we're going to go up to the seats. It's a beautiful but sunny, sunny day. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Absolute gorgeous Friday afternoon in the Wrigley Field. So nice. And the shade makes all the difference. Yeah, we, got, we were worried, sweating in the Gallagher way. Yeah, we were playing. I was like, oh, like, I was, I was thinking like 3 o'clock, basically nighttime. And I was like, oh my gosh. But our seats are covered, just covered. Like over there it's not, over here it is. We said Jamesy was living the dream two nights ago. Look at him now. <laughs> He's busy eating. Oh. You can't escape. Kurt, take me on to the ball. Here we go. Comedian and Chicago native Tom Dreesen. How fun is that? Do you 
only ever get a chance to say I love you, Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> All right. So, four to two, Cubby's still winning. They let up two runs in that eighth inning now. So, three more outs, and it's their game. But we came out to let Jamesy e run around with Sarah a little bit before we head back home. A nice little way to start the game, or the weekend, because it wasn't a one o'clock game, but it wasn't a seven o'clock game. So we still have kind of a whole night ahead of us on this Friday evening. <laughs> That's precious. Do you see this? Are you in shock? See the pumpkins? We're stopping in Jewel. Because why not? It's Friday. We need toilet paper. <laughs> Look at this lens flare. And inside they've broken out the little pumpkins. Squash. Achoo. <laughs> it's so funny. <gasps> Huh? <laughs> Are we going to wait for the pumpkin patch to get little pumpkins? No. no? Just not today. Just not today. This is called, it's called pulling your own weight. James is in charge of holding the toilet paper while we walk home. <laughs> and this kid got a little, a little loud in the store. Oh, so feisty. He had to get taken out of the carrier. That's okay. He just wanted to see everything. I'm just waiting for James to chunk that. Yeah. <laughs> Onions, cooking, and garlic and butter. It smells so good. Um, just alone, you smell it and you're like, what is cooking? Um, I am going to make some buffalo chickpea quesadillas. So the recipe I'm going from is a plant-based recipe, but I am gonna use some butter, like I just used butter to fry up these onions, as well as some Kobe Jack cheese for the quesadilla. Um, but it's not gonna be chicken, it's gonna be chickpeas. So imagine like you would buffalo chicken, but chickpeas and then mashed up um, with onions, garlic, hot sauce, and then a yummy sour cream dip. I think I'm also gonna make a cold black bean salad um, I think, I think that'll be, I think that's it. Alrighty, sorry for the jump, but Teddy got hungry. So Peter finished up the, oh, I just heard him wake up. He fell asleep. Um, anywho, he'll, he'll be all right. Um, especially now with a full belly, but this is the chickpea concoction. So it's supposed to be like buffalo chicken. It was... The onions that sauteed until they were translucent, some garlic, a third of a cup of buffalo sauce, and then a whole can of chickpeas. And then once it gets all nice and tender, you just mash it. And so this is this is the consistency. Next is the dipping sauce for these, and it's sour cream, lemon juice, garlic, and some salt. I'll let you know after I taste it if I add anything else. I did have to come and get you. I did. It's okay. Daddy finished dinner. So this isn't really a good cook with me, um, but I just added some apple cider vinegar to the sour cream as well as some garlic. So that's what we'll dip our quesadillas in. And then we also made a black bean salad, which is black beans, cherry tomatoes, lime juice, onion powder, salt, and pepper. I was gonna mix in avocado, um, but I think I'm gonna have the avocado separate if we wanna dunk our, um, our quesadillas in it. I just, I do like the black bean salad. I'm nervous that me, I've still had an aversion to avocado since my pregnancy with James. Every once in a while, it's just not, not good for me. 
Um, and I just didn't want to like ruin the salad. I knew that I would like the salad without it. So it'll just be on the side. So that is our dinner. Very kind of simple. Um, but yummy. It's getting a little bit later. I still want to bake cookies tonight. Um, so we'll see. At least it's Friday. Right? We can stay up a little later on Friday night with the kids. We can stay up late. We can stay up later with the kids on Friday. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh gosh. We're also seeing all the D23 announcements coming in. Oh my goodness. All right, so it was a bit of a tag team effort for dinner between Sarah and I. We've got a black bean tomato salad. We've got some homemade like cream cheese dip and some buffalo um, chickpea quesadillas. Got some guac for also James. James will probably eat off of all this. It smells really good and I'm real hungry, so let's mind you. Looks pretty delicious. Not plant-based, but vegetarian. All right, we're letting James sleep a little late because it's Friday. Sarah's putting Teddy down right now. We enjoyed dinner. Am I putting on Illuminations Grinch? Maybe. Maybe I am, but maybe why not? Yay. So good. What a turn of events putting the kids down. Um, Everybody fell asleep, so we're gonna go to bed. Uh, lovely start to the weekend. Not what I expected, but a nice Friday. Just kind of spending time with our family, like our immediate family, us us five, inclusive of, of Edie. Um, tomorrow's gonna be a good day. Nothing huge plans, but uh, just there's a festival in the neighborhood we're gonna check out. And besides that, just enjoy it. What else are you supposed to do on the weekend, right? It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.